हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ कार्स केमिस्ट्री सो गाइस आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल गाइस इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू इन्फॉर्म यू अबाउट द आरपीएम मीटर यू गेट इन योर कार वेदर यू ओन अ पेट्रोल कार और अ डीजल कार हाउ दीज बोथ आरपीएम मीटर्स यू गेट इन अ पेट्रोल एंड अ डीजल कार आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू इट्स अ फुल फॉर्म दैट इज रिवोल्यूशन पर मिनट सो द आइटम दैट इज रिवॉल्विंग here is the crank shaft you get in the engine bay compartment of your car for an example i would like to show show you the rpm meter of a petrol car so this car is i20 1.2 liter petrol and here you can see eight markings 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and at last it's written into 1000 rpm and if you will buy a diesel car uh, for example if you buy a i20 diesel so there would be only six markings and that will indicates into 1000 that is 6000 rpm so why these rpm are higher in a petrol car and low in a diesel car so i would like to explain you this phenomena called compression ratio uh, from a toy so guys this toy is called pichkari you all have used it in your childhood during holi festival but here i am using it to illustrate the phenomena called compression ratio so first of all uh, if it's the petrol fuel that is highly compressible petrol is highly compressible and it's also highly flammable so uh, during the process Uh, the shaft will revolve faster because it is highly compressible we do not need that much force to compress it it will compress easily it will ignite easily as it's highly flammable and it will uh, quickly give energy to the engine the process will be very fast so the process will be like this if we assume and if there is the diesel fuel the diesel is not that much compressible so it will compress in a slow rate now as it is compressing in a slow rate so it will give energy to the engine in a slow rate but here is a fact that uh, diesel has a um, energy of 38.6 mega joule per liter whereas petrol has a energy of 34.6 mega joule per liter so you can see a big difference of 4 mega joules per liter so that's that is the reason why uh, diesel engine has more power as compared to petrol fuel so guys now finally we can conclude that rpm is directly proportional to the speed of crank shaft in case of petrol we had seen the process was very quick so uh, the petrol will be consumed in a higher rate the fuel will burn quickly and give energy instantly to the engine but in case of diesel the uh, revolution were very slow as compared to diesel so the fuel will also burn in a slow rate and will give energy to engine in a slow rate so guys at the end i would like to tell you an interesting fact about petrol and a diesel fuel if you are having a diesel car and if your car consumes a gallon of fuel gallon means 3.7 liter so if your engine consumes 3.7 liters of diesel then Uh, the engine is evolving 13% more co2 as we compare it to petrol so it is more harmful uh, for environment to have a diesel car as the climate change is going on very rapidly so you can uh, go for a petrol car if you are environment cautious though electric cars are not that successful in india its uh, infrastructure is not that much great as compared to petrol diesel or cng so you can go for either petrol or cng if you want to save your beloved earth so guys i hope i clearly explained you the rpm topic and if you understood this video clearly then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching